Hey guys, it's Mirror Socks back with another enlisted tutorial for beginners and today we're going to be taking a look at every single grenade, mine or explosive in the game that you would place by hand and trust me, there's quite a few of them. Quick thinking. As I mentioned in the intro, today we're gonna take a look at all the explosives that you place by hand. If it's launched by any weapon like a mortar or a rifle that has a modification to do so, these things are not gonna be in today's video. So let's start off, I think, in the most common sensible way as you would naturally progress through the campaign or at least roughly in the order each of the grenades were added to the game. So the first one obviously would be your basic grenade and don't worry if you can't find an M24 grenade for example it's gonna be called different in different nations for example allies right here their basic grenade is called mark 2 grenade and it's exactly the same thing it's only for different nations they're called in a different way so your basic grenade you pull it back you throw it away somewhere near the infantry boom everyone dies if it's placed well if you hold on to it for too long in your hand it's gonna explode in your hand and you will die and and this thing is not gonna take out any tanks, so infantry only. The next thing you might end up trying is a small grenade. And again, you can see this Nebelhanden Granaten. Uh, I probably butchered that name completely in German uh, for allies, Soviets, or like Japanese and things like that. They'll, they'll be called differently, but they'll be exactly the same thing. It's just a basic smoke grenade. You pull it back, throw it away, and it instantly draws smoke and gives you a smoke cover for a limited amount of time. You can pull this back and hold it however long you want it is not going to explode in your hand so you don't need to worry about that the things are getting bigger but up until this moment an explosive pack does a decent damage against infantry actually against infrastructure in the map like windows doors any furniture in the house or sandbag walls anything that the enemy has built you can pretty much destroy with this and the big thing is that you can take out pretty much any tank with an explosive pack but I can tell you one thing there are some really really cool and even cooler grenade and mine types in this game and by the time you progress up to the campaign and you unlock different anti-tank weapons you're literally gonna start using these just less and less trust me in my mind I was thinking what would be the basic for your grenade your smoke grenade your explosive pack and it's got to be the Molotov cocktail It's basically a bottle with a flammable liquid inside wherever you throw it smashes sets the place on fire uh, it can take out infantry very easily if they can't get away from the fire um, it can even take out tanks especially open top ones where the crew can actually get burnt or if it's thrown onto the engine deck of a tank it'll set the permanent fire unless it's put out the vehicle eventually gonna go kaboom and again you can pull this thing back and hold for a long as for as long as you want and it's not going to explode in your hand it's gonna explode only when it's thrown away there are still two more throwable throwable is that a word it's now a word grenades in the game and I think the correct order for when they were added to the game the next one for you is probably gonna be an impact grenade well and it basically does what it says you throw it it hits something and it explodes either it's a wall tree a ground an enemy you know infantry whatever it hits it instantly explodes again you can hold it back you can pull it back and hold it for for as long as you want and it's not going to explode into your hand only when it hits something and the latest addition to the game regards grenades uh, must be the white phosphorus grenades aka the cancer grenades really cancerous gameplay in pacific campaign at least at the moment some people complain in normandy as well uh yeah people take a large grenade pouch squads up everyone with the uh, phosphor nades and just goes phosphor spam that's why this thing was nerfed not that long ago and i believe the phosphorus uh, time was limited to like eight seconds or something so basically you throw it away 
it pops, it sets a bit of a fire to the place and then a toxic gas um, spreads across the area. So if you throw it in a building full of enemies, they will definitely try and get out of that building. Either they're going to die inside or running outside, you'll be uh, ab able to easily pick these guys off. So if imagine if you have like, I don't know, seven guys and each of them have three, you can literally carry around 21 of these and it's just an absolute toxic madness um i believe these do hurt crew of some tanks not entirely sure if every tank's open top ones i would say for sure uh, but yeah, these things are pretty pretty mean moving on to all of the mines So the first one and the most basic one is gonna be the anti-personnel mine as you can see what it looks like uh, They do look different across um, Different campaigns and nations, so uh, don't take my word for it But yeah, it literally does what it says as well You place it in the doorways you place it on the enemy rally point you place it near your friend friendly Rally point if enemy try to destroy it uh, they'll go kaboom and you can literally throw these down it takes a little bit of a loading time to set it up but once it's set up um, it will explode as soon as enemy is near it uh, it can still be detonated if you shoot it if you think the enemy is close to it but maybe not as close to trigger it you can literally shoot it with your rifle uh, from a further away distance and it will uh, go kaboom so the next one type of the mines are gonna be an anti-tank mines and again it does exactly what it says and I need to mention that these do tend to look different across in, uh, different uh, campaigns and nations as well you place it on the ground preferably on narrow streets or roads that you would know for sure that the enemy tanks are gonna drive through as soon as the tank gets near it all the ground vibrations or even the weight of the tracks it's gonna set this thing a boom and the tank goes up in the flames is he gonna miss all the mines? Oh, that's bad. Oh, good. oh, I got another one. He didn't miss it. Yes, there goes another tank. But I just seen it with the corner of my eye. What? Uh, it's um, the infantry is not enough weight to set this thing off however if you have placed it somewhere and let's say you're paying attention to it and there's an enemy infantry squad running right over it again just the same as the inf uh, anti-infantry uh, mine you can shoot this with your weapon from the distance the explosive is quite big um, and it can technically take out um, enemy infantry just make sure you don't stand too close to it when you shoot it because you will die as well and the last but not least the tnt charge don't mix it up with the tnt explosive pack this is a tnt charge that you can stick to tanks you can stick them to doors to walls to furniture throw it on the ground wherever you want to step back pull the handle it goes kaboom so yeah once you stick this to a tank uh, that's game over like there's no way he will be able to get away from it and you just need to pull the trigger on time and it'll go kaboom technically you can place it in hallways as well as well and wait for infantry but uh, there are some of the other mines that we've mines and grenades that we have mentioned in this video that are going to be so much more uh, effective against infantry than this thing before we call it a day there's an interesting anti-tank mine you can call it a mine in one of the campaigns and it's of course in pacific war and i kind of wanted to showcase it uh, separately uh, it's it's this weird thing you hold it in your hand oh my god why is it so close you hold it in your hand you run up to the tank and you literally stab this thing against the tank and it goes kaboom you really need to master your technique so you don't die yourself uh, i haven't really played these too much but i've seen other people playing these and yeah japanese use these to destroy enemy tanks so that sounds a little bit like i don't know a suicide mission if you ask me but uh yeah you can actually holy moly that thing is that stick is quite long but you know it, it does have explosive in it so even that is yeah that is scary close to to willingly 
poke an explosive in the side of a tank uh, without a guarantee that, that the tank is gonna uh, go up in flames. So yeah, these are all of the grenades, mines and explosive that you place, throw or use by hand. As I said, no mortars are included here and no uh, of the special weapons, for example, like I don't know, like this uh, type 38 rifle with grenade discharger. Uh, every single nation has these weapons and I'll probably be making a separate video on these. Some of these fire high explosive rounds for infantry, uh, some of these fire AP rounds for uh, armored vehicles. Again, thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure you let me know, know down in the comments below if there are any other tips and tricks you want to see uh, on and listed. Hope you learned something new and uh, definitely see you guys in the, the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and it's been Miro Sucks. Bye bye!